What's going on Bob Loud fam? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all a little something special. Now, I have been sick the last couple days, so I do want to apologize for that. But this video is gonna be about how to get unlimited junk. I know this is one of y'all's favorites, and this is gonna be about how to get unlimited wood, unlimited plastic, and unlimited rubber. Now, of course, being the chads that y'all are, y'all could actually go through and figure out new glitches that you could do with this and get unlimited other things. So, anyways, let's quit rambling and let's get into the video. Now, in order to be able to do this glitch, we're going to need to be going to visit Berkeley Springs. If you don't know where this location is exactly, it's far right of the map towards the middle. And if you're still confused on where this is exactly, just look up the Chloe bot and it should give you the exact location. Once you do know the location, all you're gonna need to do is then spawn in, and when you spawn in, you're gonna follow my exact path, and you're gonna talk to the bot named Chloe. Once you enter dialogue with her, sometimes she'll give you the right quest, which is to go pick up your toys that you left behind, and if you get any other quest that's not dealing with toys, then you will not be able to do this glitch. I'm about to show you that if you actually do get the wrong quest, how you could actually reset it. If she does give you the wrong quest, all you got to do is navigate to data, then to daily quest, and find where it says playtime quest, and then hit your button to reject it. You'll see it at the bottom of your screen and say reject, and you reject it, and you got to server hop twice to be able to accept another quest from her. Let's say that you did get the right quest, you will notice that you got three different toys in your inventory that are quest items. What's so special about these quest items is the game doesn't actually let you break these down. Meaning that these items that are actually junk and have junk in them, you could use infinitely. Because the game ain't going to want to break that quest down or else you won't be able to do the quest. So you want to make sure that you actually don't turn these in because this is how we're going to do the glitch. Now in this guide I actually only show you how to duplicate wood or get unlimited wood but you can actually use any item that is using that quest item for junk so if the junk quest item uses plastic gears and wood then you could probably find something in your camp to deal with either one of those. Since I'm only doing wood right now, all you need to do is put your wood in your vending machine and sell it for 40,000 caps, that way nobody buys it. Or if you have so much wood, you need to drop it down so that the game doesn't correct its mistake. Once you have your wood dealt with, in this case, or whatever glitch you're actually trying to do or duplicate, all you need to do is place something that requires wood. AKA these signs only use one wood and I have three I could use from the quest items. And so I'm just spamming these. I am in my vault and you wanna make sure you have nothing in your vault, but you can do this up top. It will just be a lot slower process and you won't be able to actually duplicate so many cause just on this run that I'm doing right here, I get 300 when I scrap this down. And that's 300 that I didn't use my own wood for because the vending machine actually doesn't use any wood that you're actually putting for sale so anything you put for sale it won't use now if you're down here in the vault you do want to make sure that you do have a vending machine in your stash box only because whenever you do scrap these items they go into your stash box and then we got to put them back in the vending machine and sell them for max caps so nobody buys the items before we actually scrap all of those wooden posts I just placed on the wood sides, you do want to make sure that you store your vending machine in your scrap box so you don't have to keep making more materials for that. And then you're going to go over here and scrap all. And I would have scrapped everything that I just placed down, which was a lot, by the way. And then you're just going to place down your stash box again and your vending machine. Now if you're actually doing wood like me, you will navigate down to your wood scraps and then you're just going to place them in your vending machine and sell them for 40,000 caps so nobody wants to buy it. Or if you can't do that because you got so much wood, you will need to just drop it on your ground, on the ground in the vault. Yeah, that's basically it. That's this glitch. And you could actually do this with rubber and plastic, I know for sure. And I know that eventually one of y'all are going to find a different camp object that you could do this with. And possibly get different things. Because whatever junk item that that quest item uses, you could actually duplicate just by doing the method I show in this video. So if you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to smash that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And let me know when you actually first started playing Fallout 76. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Anyways, guys, this is Bob Loud, out.
If you made it this far into the video, you might as well watch some more content and thank you to all our supporters.